Welcome cuties. Let's create. Good afternoon, everybody. Today I'm doing a challenge. And what I did is I typed in random color palette. And this website has this generator that has five random colors. And then um, you can click the space bar to change it and refresh it. And so what I decided to do is I decided to only click the space bar once because as soon as you get on the website, it has the five colors. And I was like, no, no, I don't want to do that. So I clicked the space bar once and I decided, okay, whatever I do, those are the colors I'm going to have. So I clicked it and dang, those colors were bright. And so I was like, you know what? We'll work with what we have. So I have like, it was like a hot pink, a bright orange, bright green, bright blue, and bright purple. So I tried to match um, the markers that I have. I tried to match them as closely as I could, but they are a little bit darker than what the website was, but I figured it was fine. If I wanted to do this digitally, I could just like actually like color drop from the website, but I figured it was fine. So first I decided to make a little sketch of a head to figure out what kind of hairstyle I wanted for this character. And at first, what came to my mind is doing a short hairstyle because I figured I don't really do a whole lot of sh short hairstyles, to be honest. I normally do long. And so I was like, I'm just gonna do like maybe shoulder length and wavy. The other problem that I had <laughs> is Jasmine decided to sit there forever. And I finally was like, you know what? I'm gonna stop recording because you are not moving. <laughs> and then she finally moved and went away. But, um, so that delayed my process a little bit. So then I went to sketching this, the head that I had. I decided to sketch out what this person would look like head to toe. And I liked the outfit. I liked the idea of kind of having an A-line dress, which means it's shorter in front, longer in back. I liked um, kind of having sleeves that go out, like, bat wing sleeves. I don't know what they're called, <laughs> but that's what they do. And so then I decided to draw it again. And uh, well, quite a while ago, I drew a bunch of different faces to just kind of have, um, to mo not be stuck in the same kind of face. And there was this one girl that I really liked that I drew. And so I decided to draw that face instead. So rounder, bun and I just think she's so cute and so I went with that and the hardest part that I had with this drawing is the sleeve and hand that are on the let's see what side if we're looking down it would be the right side so that was the most difficult part that I just really struggled with and but I finally got to it. I finally did it. And it took a lot of freaking erasing. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna like rip a hole in, <laughs> in my paper. But then another thing happened that made me so upset is I was um, fine lining it and the eyeball, I like messed up. And so, but it actually turns out fine because I, you know, go over it with marker, blah, blah, blah. So, as I started coloring, oh my gosh, I really hope you can't hear it, but there's like a giant diesel outside my apartment. So hopefully you can't hear it. But if you do, that's what that noise is. So after I started coloring, I like realized, oh, I was only supposed to stick to those five colors. And I'm upset because I didn't do that. I gave her a regular skin tone. And so just ignore the fact that she has regular skin tone. <laughs> Everything else though, I only used those five colors. So except for the fact that she has 
regular skin, everything else, hair, eyes, lips, dress, is all going to be the five colors. And I think she's so cute. Oh my gosh. I think she's so adorable. Um, I can't... Okay. I'm like waiting for it to come so I can explain some things. Because what I decided to do is, as you can see right now, I am shading her skin with a darker brown. And later, what I actually do is parts that are going to be like really dark, I end up going over with the blue color that I have. And that's also, that then becomes my shading color. Um, normally because when you shade, you normally use cooler colors. And when you highlight, you use warmer colors. So... And if you think about it, if you're sitting in the shade, you're going to be colder. If you're sitting in the sun, you're going to be hotter. So warm, cold. That's kind of like kind of a rule of thumb that makes things a little more um, pleasing to the eye. Um, and just a little tip and trick. So what I decided to do is I, I gave her pink lips. Then I was like, oh, I'm going to give her blue hair. And then I was like, oh, but I want to shade. So then I end up later going with um, the purple marker. And mostly, as you can tell, it's mostly purple. With the highlight being blue is what it will end up being. Um, so then I think it's at this point that I will go in with the blue and I shade the face. I shade like where her... Uh, eyelids are I shade like the nose so when you shade a nose pretty much what you do is you just do an upside down triangle so and that looks perfect a lot of anime uh, and manga do that a lot um, and it actually works out really really good so I apologize that I just said um like a billion times so then I go through and I go, I'm just going to do a thin line because this is going to be shaded underneath the dress. So it would be a lot darker. So I had that line as well. The, then I go in and this is actually my funnest part is doing the dress. Um, it was because what I have in my mind and what I would love to do and maybe I should draw a digital drawing of this is I actually have it go from dark and I wanted to have like an ombre of getting the colors to be lighter so I tried to do the best I could with doing markers and only using these colors where if I had more markers then I'd be able to have that dark to light but only using the markers that I had, I couldn't exactly do that. So, um, you'll see here in a second is I flick my wrist at the very end and that kind of makes it a little lighter and then coming down. So from her chest area down to the, um, just more down. I use a colorless blender. So a colorless blender pretty much just lifts colors. As I have said before is it's just like pretty much alcohol. And so it's lifting because alcohol lifts alcohol in the case of markers, not in real life. <laughs> well, maybe I, I don't know. That's besides the point. So then, as you can see right here, I go down to try and just kind of make it a little lighter at the ends. And it, yeah, it turns out okay. It's not as like, I would like to have it like insanely pastel. But again, this was the challenge of only using those five colors and that didn't happen. So... Um, I did the best with what I had, and I think it turns out cute. I mean, I know it's not an exact rainbow because it's missing yellow, but, um, yeah, I, I like it. I think it's cute, and she's adorable, and later you won't see this because I ended up doing it way later after drawing, and I just do my, <laughs> my signature outline with thicker, dark, um, 
fine liner and then I drew some clouds behind it um, but I think it's cute and I think it's a fun idea so definitely try going on I mean you could do this with colored pencils you could do it with crayons even crayons crayons I don't know how to really say it but that's how I say it so um, I will leave a link you don't have to like sign into anything like literally you go onto the website and it already pops in five colors for you and it's kind of fun because the more you limit your color palette the more you have to kind of be creative and think of different things so I would probably like if I did this again I would probably fully use all the colors and maybe have like a crazy skin tone of like maybe making her an alien and using green as the skin tone or something but for this one she's got normal skin because I totally forgot but I like how she turns out I think she's cute it's a fun idea and yeah Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, give the video a like or a comment, stay a while and watch a couple more episodes, and until next time, keep creating!